There is no subway, there are no buses, there are no streetcars, nothing for now. Where were you when? Ten years ago today, trains stopped mid-tunnel. Traffic lights went out. Canada's biggest city came to a standstill. The big blackout happened when power lines in Ohio brushed against overgrown trees. By the end of the day, 50 million people in Ontario and the northeastern United States were without power. That blackout in 2003 forced big changes to North America's energy sector. Scott has been looking into that for us. And as we look back, 10 years, I can't believe it's yeah. gone by like that. Remember the day well. What's been the biggest change? Well, one is uh, just making sure it doesn't happen again. So there's been lots of duplication as far as infrastructure goes, because if one branch comes down, it just set off a cascade. So there's been duplications in the system. There's also, along with lawsuits, there's also the potential of fines. And so nothing gets a company to be reactive as far as a potential lawsuit and, and substantial uh, fines. So at this point, there's an energy policy that came out in 2005, and this gives the commission the, the authority over penalties and fines. For example, the fines back in the heyday of 2003 when this happened was only $11,000 per day for mm -hmm. a disruption of a service of this kind. That was uh, bumped up immediately after this to $1 million a day. Wow. So the company responsible back in 2003 was never fined anything and, and, uh, because there was no regulations in place back then. And just to touch back on the point that you mentioned, 45 million people affected in the U.S., eight different states, Ontario, 10 million people affected there, Toronto, total blackout so it was substantial and being called the one of the biggest blackouts affecting that many people in the world have the changes that you mentioned the new regulations have they proven to be effective uh, I've looked into that and at this point uh, uh, Associated Press looks that uh, they have been effective that not only does the regulator have more teeth to find the potential threat of a lawsuit has companies more effective but there's also been more duplications in the system so once if one system one circuit breaker goes it doesn't set off a cascade so in that in fact, uh, there's been $33 million in fines since 2010, uh, and one back goes back to the, the, the biggest one since then, that's the Florida blackout that was back in 2008. The Florida Power and Light Company fined $25 million. So in, to answer your question, it seems that the threat of money and taking money from companies is enough to affect big change.